Now listen, one thing that we do know for sure is that man has been enjoying mushrooms since as, as long as we can remember. The cavemen used to eat mushrooms. In fact, a very interesting fact is that the Iceman who was discovered in the Italian Alps in 1991, who was thought to have died 5,000 years ago, was actually found with mushrooms in his pocket. Oh, wow. Now one thing we do know is that he would definitely have loved Chef Moira's stuffed mushroom recipe that we're about to make right now. Now, sadly, mushrooms are often underrated and thought to possess absolutely no nutritional benefits whatsoever. Well, in fact, mushrooms contain more protein than most vegetables and are one of the few natural sources of vitamin D. We should all be eating much, much more of them. And we're going to help you on your way. Chef Moira is here <laughs> to help us. Are you great? I'm very good. We're going to get creative with yes, mushrooms. I, I felt quite bad underselling them. They're awesome. Yes, well, because people know them as a fungus or a yeah, fungi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, I'm not eating that. But <laughs> they really are nutritionally valuable for, to your system. Mm. And I find them very enjoyable, and there's lots that you can do with them. I was going to say, they create a great platform to zhuzh up. So how great. are we zhuzhing up our well, mushrooms today? Well, today we're keeping, we're using the brown, the brown mushrooms, and because um, I like to stuff them. Mm. And there's so a lot of people will just do garlic and cheese and that. This is just something extra with something extra meaty in it. Mm. Um, and it's a, we're using it as a, like a canapé or a starter that you can serve at your, at your bras or your dinner parties and that, that people will actually enjoy. Um, so we're going to make the filling first. We're going right. to fill it with, I'm calling it a meze filling because I'm using meze ingredients. So okay. ingredients from the Mediterranean. So great. And if you had meze for lunch and you've got a few leftovers, then you can have stuffed throw mushrooms for dinner. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> um, so my, my absolute favourite is obviously chorizo, oh, and the spicier the better, um, it gets yeah. lots of flavour. And then we're using some Ku products, which is the tin butter beans, and this is an Italian sauce, there's sauce in it already, so it nice. adds to the flavour. Um, so we just put in a half a tin. Nice, a bit of a curry influence. Yes, and this I'm using as the binder, so it binds it all together, so you, you know it doesn't separate when it's in the mushroom. Mm. And then we're using chickpeas, because that's really extra protein and very nutritional. Well, the butter beans as well, we've actually got some beautiful substitutes for protein here. If, you, if you're doing a meat-free Monday or something like like that. Correct. Um, this is a great substitute. So we basically with the filling you throw everything into the food processor, we whiz it and we, we stuff the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, sorry, so we yeah. put in chorizo, some um, curry chickpeas, some curry butter beans, some parsley, some garlic, my favourite, some black pepper and then some whole grain mustard. mustard. Okay. Uh, that just brings in also a, a lovely balance of flavours and then sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, um, and nice. this, this just adds a nice acidity into it and they're the ones that have been in the oil so they're soft and juicy. I was wondering what that flavour was when I stole, admittedly. Uh, <laughs> a little taste of our stuffing earlier. Certainly got the garlic. Correct. Um, I mean, we, we were discussing, we don't eat sun-dried tomatoes on its own, mm. um, but when it's put on pizzas or in mushrooms and fillings and that, it really adds a lovely complimentary flavour. Nice compliment. I love so it. So I yeah. put an egg in, and then we put some parmesan cheese in. Oh, nice. Because um, it's all, all, the, yeah. all the Mediterranean flavours. Obviously some salt, and we've already put the black pepper in. Oh, beautiful. So that is really your stuffing. Oh, you I just bring it together that. and then you just pulse it. You obviously, you don't have to make it smooth. Yeah. Um, but I'd love little chunky bits of chorizo in there. Yeah. Um, and this is very Mediterranean. So Ooh. there we go. And you can see how lovely it is. You can smell the aromas coming through. And I've already got some here in a bowl. Oh, beautiful. So, okay, the stuffing process. Yeah. So the stuffing process. So you can see it's still quite grainy. You've got the textures of the chickpeas coming through and that. Mm. Um, and the, and the, the sun-dried tomatoes and cherries are giving a lovely colour. So mm, you'll just take your beautiful. mushroom, you'll take out the stem, and you could actually, if you didn't want to throw the stem away, you put it into there and you, you and actually just mix it into it, into it and it adds extra mushroom flavour. flavour. All right, so you just use a spoon and you want to just put it in nice and full. Mm. And no need to pre-cook the mushrooms. No need to pre-cook because you remember your mushrooms have got a lot of water content mm. in it, so they actually shrivel away in the oven. So um, you do, you're just going to cook it slightly to heat and... And of course, um, yeah, bearing in mind, you can eat mushrooms raw, so you, you, can. you, you don't want them to lose too much of their Correct. Um, rigidity, that the backbone, you know? And then mm. what I like to do is just add a little bit of butter in the bottom. And just then, to aid with the cooking process, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to aid in it so it doesn't stick to the bottom and just to create, let the juices flow. And then you'll just top with a little bit of um, mozzarella. You don't want to top it with too much because you still want to see the ingredients. Mm. And then you put that into the oven 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, 180. And a nice mild cheese, you don't want it to detract mozzarella, from the... Mozzarella, yes, the your flavours are all coming from your filling. So your mozzarella is just really, just to top it off, give it some colour. Um, and if you're using a cheddar cheese, it's quite oily. So mm -hmm. you don't want all this oil sitting on top because there are already enough um, oils coming from the chorizo in that. Okay, beautiful. Well, let's start that cooking process. We're going to get this into the oven and prepare some beautiful little canapé-style stuffed mushrooms. But if you would like this recipe list sent to your phone, all you've got to do is SMS the keyword COO to 33728. We'll send you a link. You click on that.
that link and the recipe will be sent directly to you. Well, you can take a little step-by-step -step recap of how we arrived at the end result while we try and cook up that end result right now. Should we get to work? Mm. For the stuffing, place chorizo, chickpeas, butter beans in tangy sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, rosemary, parsley, mustard, parmesan, garlic, pepper and egg into a food processor and blend until roughly smooth. Divide the stuffing mix between the mushrooms and top with mozzarella. Bake for 25 minutes. Top bruschetta with rocket and a mushroom. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword COO to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And there we go, our little works of art, nice and complete. If you want that recipe, again, the keyword is coup to double three seven two eight. So um, a little bruschetta, um, finish it off with a bit Correct. of rocket. Very quick and easy. Bruschetta is just sliced oak toasted um, bread. We use a French bread and it's quick and easy. But look how delicious it looks. It was quick and easy to do. And I think anyone can do that and treat their partner. Oh, man, these mushrooms do look and smell absolutely delicious. Another hit courtesy of Moira. You can let us know what you thought of Moira's recipe this morning by emailing us at food at expressoshow.com. Maybe also send through some suggestions. Share your favorite recipes related to mushrooms as well. And maybe we'll cook them here on the show. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.